talk today about the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C release date, which, drum roll please, nobody knows the date. However, I did want to talk today about what we actually do know uh, about the device, well, what we've rounded up as far as the rumors uh, go. We do know that September 10th is going to be the date that they're going to announce um, the new iPhone uh, it's going to be almost a week after the um, Galaxy Note 3 is released, which is actually this coming up Wednesday. We're going to know a little, little bit more about uh, that device then. Um, but we do know that there are two versions coming out. There's going to be the iPhone 5S, which is going to be the more high-end phone. Um, that's going to be the one that heavy-duty iPhone users are probably going to go for. Um, now me myself I'm a, a Samsung guy so Android you know that that's been the market that I've always been uh, going towards but I do have a, like the innovation of the iPhone so some of the specs in it is very intriguing for me um, so then the second version they're going to come up with is the budget iPhone which is the iPhone C I guess C means cheap I don't know um, it's going to have a plastic backing and it's also going to have different colors um, there's a lot of speculation about when the actual iPhone is going to be released uh, some specific uh, some suspicious there we go behavior <laughs> um, is uh, Apple employees are going to are unable to take time off between September 15th and September the 28th and uh, T-Mobile employees are also limited to their vacation days between the 18th and the 22nd so those kind of things are kind of showing when that device is going to be released so if it was up to me I'm going to say a safe date would be September the 18th um, that week uh, actual, the actual release date uh, they're probably going to allow you to pre-order it maybe a couple weeks before that which would be I say a week before that It'll be about the time they announce it and then you'll be able to actually purchase it a week later uh, anyway that's my guess on when it's actually going to be released based on this um, uh, these dates that they have on here um, because the store is going to be very busy and people are going to be standing outside the door waiting on them like they always do anyway uh, so what we do know we do know you will have a choice in color there will be five available colors red green yellow blue and white um, there are some alleged photos that show uh, the back face of them and they have different colors on them uh, so that's going to be awesome for those iPhone users that want a different color want a variety and don't necessarily want to have a case on their phone they can actually have the phone be the different colors now I'm not sure if that's going to be just with the 5S or with just the 5C from the pictures that I've seen it looks like the 5C is the one that's going to have the different colors because of the plastic backing being in different colors. Uh, anyway, uh, it says it's likely that the 5C will have the same specs as the 5, the iPhone 5, uh, with the 326 PPI Retina display, a A6 chip, um, FaceTime HD camera, and an 8 megapixel rear side camera. Did you hear that? Rear side camera. That's the actual camera on the side of the phone as opposed to being on the back of the phone. Um, so that's going to be awesome. Um, a little bit different than what, what they had before. Also, the 5S will also likely have a dual LED flash. Um, so that could help take more natural looking photos. And also, there's been a buzz about a fingerprint sensor to secure the device when you're locking your phone you can unlock it with your fingerprint awesome like I said um, this says the iPhone 5C will come preloaded with iOS 7 um, that'll be most likely released on September the 18th the date that I said that they'll probably release the phone um, it says right here a few days before the new phone so it might be a few days before or it could be the actual day um, <clears throat> there's a whole range of new features uh, it says a new control center uh, that allows quick access to more important settings a new way to multitask apps uh, the airdrop feature for sharing pics and documents with other 
iPhones in your area and the ability to shift the background image in response to one's movement so that'd be pretty cool to see um, the fourth thing they have on here is plastic um, previous iPhones have been um, like have the aluminum back plating or, or something like that and um, a lot of the phones now have come out with plastic backings because they are a cheaper uh, B they make the phone lighter and C they absorb uh, shock from when they're dropped because we, we know we all like to drop smartphones I've dropped several of them in my day and luckily the phones that I've had have been plastic and so when I drop them it absorbs it and I don't break my screen I don't break the phone um, so uh, some people are this is a kind of a touchy subject for some people because they want the iPhone to have the aluminum or metal backing um, because it makes the phone a little more high end, which it does. It makes it looks, it, you know, it looks great. But you know, they want to make something that's very functional uh, for users because they know they're going to be dropping their phone. Um, last thing, they are saying that the iPhone C will be cheap, so it's going to be cheaper than the other um, phones. So right now it's saying that the iPhone C may be released at the same price of the iPhone 4, $99 on contract, uh, off contract be $450. So that's actually pretty good for people that don't uh, have an upgrade available or uh, people that actually aren't able to um, get a new plan. They can actually purchase the phone for $450 and not have a contract or if they're on contract get a new phone for ninety nine dollars uh, iPhone so that'd be pretty good now the 5s will have the same features as the 5c but it will have aluminum shell and will be hundred and ninety nine dollars with the two-year contract so you're thinking of a hundred dollars more you can get the more upscale high-end 5s as opposed to the 5c the 5c may be a better option for uh, teenagers or um, you know I know nowadays parents are buying the small children iPhone so actually uh, the 5c might be better for those smaller children actually my sister is thinking about buying my niece an iPhone I told her wait until they um, come out with this one she can get her the 5c and and uh, only have to you know shell out 99 bucks if the rumors are true uh, so that's all I have today about the iPhone 5 uh, I'm going to make another video about the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, which I am a little more excited for. Like I said, I'm a Samsung user. Uh, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.